Good afternoon, Mr. Tagrajan. We welcome you to Exchange for Media Pitch Live Conversations on what's happening in business, in media, in communication, in brands, uh, in advertising. How is the situation that's there impacting us? How are we dealing with us? How do we see the future? So let me say to all our viewers and people who've joined in, uh, we at Exchange for Media are delighted to Welcome Mr. B. Chagrajan, who is the MD and CEO of Blue Star, uh, for a conversation and uh, guidance on how, what the future holds for us. He's not an astrologer, let me tell you, but I've had conversations with him, real conversations. I've sat down, he's kind enough to have a dinner, lunch with me multiple times during the course of last year. So I got to know him as a person. And I'm really delighted and excited that I'm having a conversation with Mr. B. Chagrajan. Welcome, Mr. Chagrajan, uh, to this conversation. Uh, you are an industry veteran. You are an air conditioning industry veteran. Uh, this is summer season. Uh, and, you know, this is the peak of air conditioning sales. And we are having a season that's unusual. How are you dealing with it? Good afternoon, Dr. Batra, for your uh, kind introduction. I am very grateful. Um, I must tell that uh, I have always felt the warmth. Uh, much more than that, uh, I'm always uh, amazed to discover quite a few new things each time I meet you. Uh, to begin with, uh, your, your ability to recollect every date as possible. And uh, birthdays of the people, wedding anniversaries of the people, and when we met, where we met, and the conversations. Uh, salute to you. I, I, I envy you for this particular uh, trait of yours. Um, I am uh, extremely happy to be uh, part of this interaction uh, by Exchange for Media. Uh, I fondly remember uh, in, in February 22nd, uh, the amazing uh, awards function or on February 15th, the jury process for the Exchange for Media Awards. The new um, broadcasting awards. That's, that's right. And, um, uh, you know, uh, on uh, February 22nd, uh, in your um, opening remarks in the awards function, uh, you did caution every one of us. It was a great crowd and uh, I, 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 am, I am wondering whether that kind of a gathering, when it will take uh, jam-packed uh, VDIPs, uh, uh, who is who, celebrities in that uh, uh, hall, or the, you know, uh, when we will ever see that kind of uh, gathering together in an environment which has changed within uh, one month. You cautioned that, you pray that uh, India is not affected by that. And we are not affected to that extent, but still we have a long way to go. That's what I, I feel. And you prayed for that. I am grateful to you that uh, we will survive. We will fight it back. And your foresight is remarkable. Uh, coming back to your question on air conditioning, uh, it is a peak summer season. Uh, if you take March, April, May, June, close to 50% of our uh, revenue comes from this particular season. It is like a festival period for us. We look forward to summer. We prepare for it from November onwards. And uh, campaigns were ready. And the products were ready. Product launches were over. Pressure conferences were scheduled. And all of a sudden, uh, we uh, are in a big setback situation. But then um, it is uh, one summer season. Uh, I look at it as uh, it is a call uh, from uh, heavens to look at uh, ourselves and review where we are, our lifestyles, what we need to do, how we have to do differently. And uh, while the pain is a reality, uh, I think how we uh, take it for ourselves and process in our minds uh, process as uh, as an executive of a company, uh, process as a businessman, uh, process as a consumer uh, should be different. Uh, I think uh, it is also for good. It is a better way to deal with it. Uh, it is a very painful period, that much I can tell you. Uh, but equally, I am confident that uh, we will bounce back in a different manner in the days to come. Thank you. I have found, first of all, thank you for your kind words about me. I'm a quizzer. 
so I tend to remember things and you know I make an extra effort on it. So I believe in whatever you focus on grows. If you focus on positivity, it grows. And I like the fact that you're being optimistic and looking at the silver linings. And I, let me ask you a personal question. I know you were traveling more like 20 days a month, uh, going to your customers, going to you know locations, to your offices, to industry gatherings, um, and you know eating out a lot. And really, 20 days of traveling would take toll on your uh, health. Uh, tell us the positive sides as a leader. How has it impacted you positively? Uh, I must be um, honest, uh, Dr. Batra. The, the first uh, 15 days uh, was uh, very, very, uh, what to say, horrible for me. Uh, I, I was left uh, high and dry from my routine. Uh, I had to, you know, I am, uh, by the way, my, my, my secretary remembers all the dates, uh, like you. And uh, she, I, I, you, I, I was telling her only last week that I used to wonder that will I get two days in my house continuously? I was longing for that. And uh, now God has made me stay nonstop more than 30 days. Uh, and uh, I don't think I'm enjoying, to be very honest. Uh, I would like to move out. I would like to get back to my routine. I am yet to overcome that. Thank you. And has it impacted your health positively in any way? Because you're eating at home. You're possibly, I know we all are working longer days. But how has it impacted positively? I mean, has it helped you in losing weight or sleeping better? I know you're worried about the business and your employees and colleagues, but what are the positives? Let's focus a bit on the positives. Um, I think um, I am eating on time, number one, because during the travel schedules, by the time you reach home returning by a flight or you reach a destination by a flight, or uh, in between the meetings, you know, my team uh, packs my diary with the back-to-back -back meetings. Uh, I used to skip lunch, skip breakfast, so on and so forth. Uh, I think I'm eating on time. That's a good thing. Number two is I think uh, I am sleeping adequately. At least uh, seven hours I am used to. I, I am I'm able to sleep, uh, whereas it was just uh, five hours uh, prior to this lockdown. Uh, third is that uh, I am, uh, you know, reading has not changed. That I was reading when I was traveling and I continue to read. Uh, I think uh, I am able to um, watch a few movies, uh, which uh, I never used to do over Netflix or uh, Amazon Prime. Thank you. Uh, coming back to business, uh, you already shared that it is a big time for you and everybody in this business. So five months are 50% of the same. Now, at least two months have been shaved. March and April looks like May will also be tough. Uh, so how are you preparing for the future? Let's say post June, post July, how do you see the business environment uh, shaping up? It is um, uh, still uncertain. Um, uh, how it is going to pan out, but the two, three things are clear. Number one is uh, lockdown uh, was imposed all of a sudden, but lifting of the lockdown is not going to be sudden. It is going to be a gradual process. Um, uh, we, are, uh, we are now mapping which are the green zones, orange zones, or white zones, and which are the hotspots, and which are the dealer outlets located there, which are the warehouses that will serve, which are the service centers that can reach there, which is the, uh, which is the sales crew uh, which can serve which locality. That mapping we have done perfectly, and uh, it is being digitized. I think it will be a way of life for another three to four months of time. We have adequate inventory, so therefore uh, opening the factory doesn't help us at all. But very interestingly, uh, certain other segments are opening up for us. Say, for example, uh, in a residential segment, air conditioners with inbuilt air purifiers will be a sort of their thing. Because you have seen uh, certain adverse uh, comments about how safe it is to use the AC. Uh, number one is that uh, in a residential uh, premises, uh, in your apartment or anywhere, 
as long as uh, there is no infected person you can go ahead and use the ac and it if, if you maintain the temperature between 24 to 30 degrees centigrade it automatically sets the humidity between 40 to 70 which is very very good for the virus conditions so you are absolutely safe using a residential air conditioner if you are using a central air conditioning system it is again designed with a fresh air intake your uh, manufacturer or service provider has to check it is completely operational the ventilation part of it you will be perfectly saved from any kind of a virus attack so therefore no harm in using the air conditioning system so the scientific report cpwd everyone have endorsed that view so therefore we started with a setback whether air conditioning is good for virus bad for virus that part is settled now you one can go ahead and use the demand is pouring in only thing is we are not able to service that even though we have the inventory the next one is we are uh, we are uh, yeah, a manufacturer of medical refrigeration equipment for vaccines and uh, there are cold rooms meant for vaccines as well as processed foods this business is looking up so there is a there is a possibility that room air conditioner will come on stream from q2 onwards from now on the commercial refrigeration business is doing extremely well so uh, the third part is our central air conditioning business we are engaged in setting up some makeshift hospitals isolation rooms so on and so forth uh, it gives us the hope that we will uh, pass through this trial period and come back stronger in h2 that is where we are in the meanwhile we have to manage our costs and uh, i'm sorry to tell you that uh, that uh, we planned for a very big aggressive advertising campaign uh, with virat kohli and uh, unfortunately we are missing the peak season we are not able to use that and ironically uh, that communication um, is about uh, virat and uh, dozens of virat look alike and we encouraged that more virats and more people in a room in a social distancing context that even the television campaign will be irrelevant another campaign which virat did for us was uh, the air conditioner with the inbuilt air purifier where virat sneezes and the 10 people around him also sneeze even that television commercial becomes infructuous in this particular context so we have to use a use a tweaking of the certain commercials and the shots we have to say that owned by virat loved by virat so therefore for the festival season at least we are ready with a campaign and water purifiers i think people will consume in a very large number because the health consciousness and awareness is going up yeah and uh, most importantly we have a product which uh, which talks about um, boosting the immunity it is alkaline uh, level city increases therefore there is an opportunity but having said all this last summer is uh, last summer so there is uh, there is nothing we can do about it uh, and uh, if you ask me what is paining me the most is uh many employees will share this pain right uh, and many vendors will spare the pain and um, i have shared with you at some point over time that uh, in my career uh, i i i invariably get uh, a couple of employment requests uh, every month i i went on increasing that if you see in a month at least there will be a dozen uh, persons who seek an employment a yeah, father who has educated a son or a or a girl who is on the lookout for a break uh, so on and so forth um, and uh, my whole uh, ambition is that if i can place everyone somewhere if not uh, blue star um, the for this purpose i used to think that uh, at post my retirement i should uh, commence an organization which employs uh lakhs of people uh, you, you know before going to bed my dream used to be like this that i run an organization where somebody apply for the job and they will get a job uh it may be a fantasy but i am sharing with you the pain at this point of time my biggest worry is whether whether across the industry many people will be losing the job 
and uh, how this is going to be panning out. I, I am not for a moment worried about air conditioning or refrigeration. It will indeed come back. But how the society at large will cope with this and bounce back is much more important than the business itself. You know, because I know you personally through my interaction, I know what you say, you mean every word of it. And I've seen that side in you. So I'm sure uh, God will help you realize that dream, maybe not in the next three, six months, but maybe in the next 12, 18 months. This is a ABP presented pitch brand talk. And you referred to your advertising uh, campaign a uh, little while ago. So I have to ask you two questions on the ABP uh, pitch brand talk. It's about the brand. Uh, you know, where are you? Uh, you said you're ready for the festive season. You tweak the campaign that you're ready. Uh, now, where are you spending your media monies? Uh, because news channels have seen an increase in viewership from 100% to 200% in some cases. Uh, have your, uh, you know, do you think news is a great genre to spend more monies because people are watching news more? Uh, so tell us a little bit about how your marketing dollars are being spent and do you see news channels as uh, getting more of your monies? Uh, I am setting aside uh, the current situation, which is a volatile, uncertain one. Generally, we have targeted uh, news and uh, cricket. That is how we have been. And uh, in summer season, ideally for us, IPL health. Uh, and uh, most of the time, news channels have been delivering very effectively for us. And uh, thanks to the Indian politics, uh, the elections are happening on and off. Uh, during the election times, we have immensely benefited, whether it is a, a result day or it is the campaign trail. Uh, we have seen uh, good uh, deliveries happening through uh, news channels. Uh, personally, I, I have not been a believer in uh, SOPs or general entertainment channels at all. Um, for me, for my product, for my, for my brand, it is cricket and news channels. That now that cricket is not happening, are you? That's why I asked this question. Now that the cricket is not happening, do you look at news channels more to carry your brand message in campaigns? Uh, but, uh, you know, uh, quite a few people have been talking to me about that. That as and when the market opens up, okay, let us say the retail channels open up uh, in May or June. Uh, or the festival season, uh, we will invariably go to the news channels only. Fantastic. And you know, because you're apart from being a leader and a CEO and MD, you're also an individual who watches news channels, right? Uh, so how do you think have the news channels uh, fared in these COVID times? You know, tell us the positive aspects of news channels. What have they done to be able to bear, endear themselves to their viewers? or to make themselves more relevant in society? Remarkable job. I am deeply impressed that I, I do watch uh, CNN, uh, BBC as well. Uh, I would say, number one, Indian channels are second to none. Uh, two, uh, in this particular situation, uh, they are risking their lives to report the news. They are in the front line. Uh, and. Uh, my, um, I salute uh, all those reporters who are on the front uh, reporting the news uh, in an effective manner. Uh, third is uh, the analysis and the analytics uh, that is being brought uh, out uh, regular, at regular intervals. Uh, it's not only Indian data, uh, it is the data across the globe. If you take India alone, uh, every state and what is happening, how it is happening. And I would also say that uh, there is less of politics at this point of time, more of social responsibility that is laudable. Uh, you don't see uh, many controversies being reported and hyped up or something like that. It is a real responsible reporting. Uh, it is happening at a time when uh, normalcy is not there. Uh, it, it is a very challenging job. 
uh, I would equally share another view of mine uh, is, um, unfortunately, uh, the advertising revenue of most channels would have been uh, impacted very heavily, and it is going to be impacted for, uh, for, for, for quite some time. Despite that, uh, the enthusiasm of uh, the channels is uh, appreciated. Thank you, uh, Mr. Tyagarajan, for, for uh, complimenting the uh, media professionals. And we you know we on Exchange for Media, keeping with the sentiment that you have expressed two weeks back, we started with a campaign called First Responders. You know, I see my news uh, uh, professional friends going out doing stories from front line. So they are bringing credible information. Credible news brands are bringing verified credible news. So I'm grateful to you on behalf of the news and media fraternity for giving us that positive energy. I want to ask you my two last questions and then we can bring the audience in Priyanka. My first question is that what is your advice to leaders, individuals in this period? What is it that they should do to prepare themselves for the future? That's my first question. Second is, um, in terms of media spend, you said that for a large part, you see it being impacted. So do you see in the next six to 12 months, and I'm not talking next seven months, media staying the same in terms of budget allocation or going down? Uh, the first question is that I am uh, too small a fellow. There are uh, big stalwarts. Uh, my own understanding of the situation is uh, A, it is better to stay positive. Um, that is very important. And uh, despite all this, uh, I, I must believe in angels. I should believe in miracles. And therefore, the way this, uh, this uh, came in, this virus, it will disappear and we will come back to normal. That faith should be there. Um, there will be many stories that will be coming that this can happen, that can happen, we can collapse the world, this recession. And I think we should take it one at a time. It is better to deal with uh, th that on a daily basis. So deal for the day, avoid imagining what it will be in the month of May or June or July. It is better to wait for that to happen. That is the first one. The, uh, these, uh, if you have spare time, it, it is worthwhile to ponder over uh, what other business opportunities uh, can emerge out of this. And is there some innovation that we can, um, we can work on uh, how I how I can you know say for example, I have a feeling um, the people will try to stay away from big cities uh, because the big cities are affected uh, much more than smaller towns. Uh, I think uh, many many of us will start thinking about whether I do something in the rural India rather than the uh, metro India. So the rural uh, economy offers immense uh, prospects. And my passionate subject is uh, agriculture food processing. I think uh, there is something corporate India should do there. I, I, this, is, this may be a turning point for India to uh, attempt that. The, and the government has to equally collaborate with the corporate sector to enable that process. The, um, the uh, second question of yours, uh, I, uh, I think uh, my, my rough estimate is that on a, a, on a like to like basis, H1, uh, H2 of last year versus H2 of uh, this particular year, that is the period October to March 2000, uh, the last financial year, October to March, this financial year, I do not think that the advertising revenue will dip because everyone will be in a ramp up mode. That is what Stop. is my, I may be entirely wrong, but uh, I want it to be that way. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Tyagarajan. Uh, Priyanka, would you like to get some audience questions on this optimistic note? Uh, one, there are opportunities in agriculture and India must capitalize on them. Second, uh, October to March may see the same spends that uh, Indian advertising, marketing, media saw. On that optimistic note, 
would you like to get uh, questions from the audience? And if the question, Mr. Tagarajan can answer that. Renga, are you there? Yeah, yeah, sir. We are just sharing. Just sharing. We have mentioned two questions. Yeah. Uh, one is can, there. Like, can we get the person who wants to ask on the screen and maybe let him or her ask directly? Uh, we'll just try, sir. We'll just try. Or that. tell me the question, like you'll just ask. Uh, one is okay. Uh, one is that like, uh, do you think that it should be measured? Uh, do you think news is getting undervalued during this time when it provides most uh, actual information? I think news is doing a fantastic job, as I mentioned, that uh, it is it is very challenging times. The reporters are risking their lives, and most importantly, it requires a lot of analysis analytics to tell the truth. Uh, I think they are doing a remarkable job, and I went on to even mention, I, I watch CNN, I watch BBC, our channels are second to none. They are doing a remarkable job. Yeah, Priyanka, second question. Uh, and then, uh, do you think that it can be measured much better than any other medium right now? Um, Television news uh, is obviously uh, the only one I think people live on. Uh, the the problem with uh, with uh, e newspapers is you can imagine the reach should be much much lower. The digital medium uh, the you are bombarded with so much of it. Uh, you you refuse to go back to the phone and open any message at all. Therefore, I think television uh, news channels are the best one in comparison at this point of time. Fantastic. Uh, Priyanka, Priyanka, any other questions or I can ask one or two questions and we can close it then. Uh, so, yes, you can ask. I'm just uh, like, uh, I'll just add. You know, I see some questions. questions which are very narrow. Like someone yes. is asking for HSN market, which news channel should uh, be used? I don't think that's a question, Mr. Tagarajan. Uh, is qualified in the sense he's, you know, it's, it requires a different, maybe you can ask his CMO or his media head and no. back. So or, do, or Dr. Batra or Sam Balsara. Yes. So I think those are very technical questions which require a nuanced analysis. So I don't, those kind of questions I'm not allowing. I can see them on the screen. They're very narrow. Uh, but, you know, yes, uh, to the person who asked that question that, you know, he talked about approaching rural markets. So in that sense, the way you are thinking is the right way because the focus on rural markets or semi-urban markets will grow. That's where the growth will come from. Um, uh, Mr. Chagrajan, I'd like to ask you my last question and then we can wrap up. If you had to make three predictions for the future, what would that those be? I know you, I said you're not an astrologer. You're not a futurist. Uh, uh, and like you, for the first one week, 10 days, I felt very lost uh, and, you know, I was very worried and I'm first generation entrepreneur, uh, you know, as of today, I don't have the staying power that bigger companies have, but uh, in the last 30 days, I worked more focused, I worked longer, harder, I'm more optimistic about the future than I ever was. And, uh, I, you know, I've enjoyed, made the most of what we have had and, you know, I really believe in God, I believe in miracles. I believe in if you believe in something, it happens. Uh, so I'm, I'm, I really believe in that. You know, it's not something that I'm saying here. I live that. So I can identify. We as leaders also felt, you know, we felt at sea. Uh, with a certain uncertainty of a real kind uh, all across us. But we've gathered and we are doing the best. And I can tell you as media platform, whether exchange for media or business world or in, we're becoming video, we're becoming fully digital. Uh, Exchange for Media was launched 20 years back. On 1st July, it'll be 20 years. So, you know, we, we were video 10, 20%, we're moving to 50% video. So we'll become, we're becoming um, video, fully digital, mobile first. So the experience that a news channel gives, you know, that is, we come close to that. We're making it more interactive. So we are also re- imagining our business. We're also accelerating our digital transformation. We're also looking at what will work in the future. So I hope the gatherings that you mentioned in some way are back in September, October, and we really look forward to that. Uh, my last question is I asked you, what is your 
one, two, three predictions for the future? Uh, number one, I uh, firmly believe uh, that uh, there will be a drug for treatment of this and uh, there will be a vaccine sooner than we expect. Uh, so I, I think that drug should be available by September itself and the vaccine should be getting administered in India from December onwards, uh, at least by December onwards. That is my uh, first prediction. The second one is, I think uh, Indian youth will emerge much stronger. Uh, we were all uh, in in my, in my generation. Uh, I don't think we underwent that kind of a shock. Uh, this is a huge shock for them. They are coping with this, and I'm amazed uh, at their uh, uh, resilience to uh, go through this particular process at the young age. Uh, they will face many challenges uh, in terms of salary cuts or job losses. They are going to, but despite all this. I think they will emerge much, much stronger, which will be good for India. The third one is that uh, India will be a great destination for global manufacturers and service providers. Uh, this is a moment, uh, if our policies are right, we will save and move forward. Uh, I, I, I think uh, you, you, we must exchange notes wherever we are uh, by next May. Uh, Indian economy will be in a different uh, level altogether. Uh, we, we will bounce back very strongly. Uh, thank you so much, Mr. Tagarajan. There are audience questions and I'll give you two so that the audience, uh, their time is made. And I'm clear, you know, one question is, what are the functions as a leader, as an organization? What are the functions within your organization that you're focusing on? And how are your employees dealing with it? Second question is about the acceleration of digital mediums. Uh, these are the two questions. First, uh, what are the functions within the organization? You are focusing a lot more these days. And second, how are your employees dealing with? Third, how, how do you see the acceleration of digital mediums? Um, our primary focus is uh, human resources function in order to keep, keep the people engaged and addressing their concerns, queries, anxieties, so on and so forth, one end. And within that, our aftermarket uh, function, uh, because of the summer season, many people need service, and we are serving many hospitals, uh, many IT data centers, many banks, etc. And they have to move out, and uh, they have to take out the spare parts, they have to secure permissions, and that function is getting a lot more attention at this point of time. Uh, the um, I think people are worried about their future and uh, we need to reassure them that this is a momentary setback and uh, things will be all right. And uh, that is one of the challenges all companies will go through that, uh, you know, that whether it is, there is going to be a huge pay cut, uh, how much it will be, whether uh, my job is secured or not. And uh, when I will go back to office, these kind of concerns as leaders, we have to keep addressing them. Therefore, communication is important. Uh, digital medium, uh, already it was on the rise. Uh, and uh, after experiencing this, I think it is going to be a lot more. At the same time, I, I, I am not an advocate of it is the end of print. It is the end of television. Only digital will provide. I think everything is going to coexist. Thank you. There are a lot of questions coming, which means what will be your advice uh, to your uh, retail partners uh, from Pankaj Sharma? Uh, one question, can we do expansion in OS media at this period by LK Nagaraj? Since this is high time for a category, what is the loss in your category you're witnessing from Surinder Singh? Uh, uh, Karan Bhatia asking, will India take next big leap and we see changes happening in all businesses. Uh, uh, what is the distribution that this uh, disruption, this segment will witness in post-COVID by Amit Setia? How will, so, you know, lots of questions. Uh, you can, how, what is the disruption this business will see in the future uh, by Amit Setia? I think we'll take that question first and then we'll go down to other questions. 
I, I do not think there will be a huge disruption, except that it is going to take time for people to be going back to places where there are large crowds, uh, malls, um, cinema theaters, for example, uh, air travel, uh, eating out in a restaurant. Uh, these are going to be taking a lot more time. Uh, they, they, there has to be uh, social distancing for at least six months of time until a vaccine comes or so. And I think disruption is in this particular place. If it, you are in any other category, I, I am not seeing uh, a disruption as yet. Uh, because the demand levels from certain large segments will come down, you may have to. Like, for example, there was a private jet dealer who was contacting me last week to say that will um, will uh, we be looking at buying private jets since air travel by a normal commercial airline will be lesser because he is already thinking of an opportunity out there. Sir, uh, Mr. Chagraj, I want to stop you. If you buy one uh, from time to time, please... Uh, Loan it to us. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> definitely. We are not there. Uh, on the contrary, we will stop traveling. So to that extent, the description may be reduction in uh, travel and how you will. Um, and what, the, is, what is the shrinking of the size of the air condition for these three months, in, let's say March, April, May, and I'm not taking beyond that. If the disruption continues, uh, the May, do you uh, think you'll uh, contract by 10%? Yeah, yeah, you know, so... so so far, it is 30. If May is a washout, it will jump to 50. Your Mr. Tarajan is saying to surrender. Well, for the quarter, I'm saying for the quarter. The quarter, 30 percent for the quarter if it stays till May, and uh, 50 percent for the quarter if it stays till June. And you can calculate if 50 these five months are 50 percent the same. You can impact possibly 10 percent to 15 percent contraction. That would be fair to. Uh, that, that, that's only for the room air conditioners. Uh, yeah. Commercial refrigeration or central air conditioning may not be impacted because this is highly seasonal product. But yeah. I'm also taking into account that uh, since the uh, disposable income levels can come down, uh, there may be a reduction in future purchases during festival season as well. But uh, I'm surprised that I keep getting mails that, look, we will be required to work from home so therefore, I want to acquire an air conditioner. So the people are trying to make their home much more comfortable. So all put together, full year, as if you ask me today, I think the full year compared with the last year should be 20% reduction to 10% reduction. Great. Uh, there are questions from Vivek Randeria. Is it possible for, in the, for our, your industry to recover the losses of sales in remaining quarters? What do you think about the Indian economy after coronavirus? It is the, does the digital scenario affect air conditioning industry by anonymous? What do you think after lockdown air conditioning would be able to sell the inventories? Uh, you know, what do you see as the future of the newspaper industry? There are lots and lots of questions, which is a good thing. That means people have been totally glued in and uh, listening to you. What is the future of the newspaper industry? It will coexist, as I told you. Uh, even today, I am surprised uh, with the number of people who are reading even the e-newspaper. They're taking pains to go through that. Uh, I think uh, uh, they are looking for newspaper to be delivered at their doorsteps. Uh, it will not die. It will continue to coexist. Thank you. And a lot of people are asking questions, which you answered before, but you said, how to deal with this crisis? how to stay calm, you know, how to deal with this at an individual level, at a leadership level, at an organization level, as a societal level. I know you said that you believe in miracles, you believe that the future will be better, but give, give, give us some, that was a little more philosophical, give us some practical tips. See, the, um, the thing is that it is, it is a God-made thing that it has happened uh, and uh, it, will pa it, it will pass. So there is absolutely no point in wondering that it is going to be an endless thing at all um, because you have to go by the past evidence uh, of quite a few events. Uh, 1918, uh, I, I do not know what happened. I have read about it, about the Spanish flu. 
the world bounced back. World War I, the world bounced back. World War II, the world bounced back. Um, the, in our lifetime, uh, you know, uh, the, um, the uh, wars that we had fought and the, uh, look at the uh, history of India, the partition war. Compared with the pain they have undergone, I don't think we are undergoing that pain today. Partition was a very painful thing for most part of India. And uh, the, be it uh, 26-11, uh, be it uh, the uh, global financial crisis uh, in, as, as uh, recently as 2009, we have survived all that and we have bounced back. And this is one another event of a different type. And uh, I think it prepares us for many more viruses that will happen uh, as predicted. Uh, I, and I, 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 I hope people will laugh at me. I think this is the worst crisis of the century we will be facing because we will prepare for many more adverse situations already. So, so you're saying it will make us prepare for adversity. It will make us more resilient. It will uh, kind of rewire us to be able to live in a new world. So, on that note, I would like to. Uh, ask to my last question and kind of wrap up. Uh, Mr. Thyagarajan, if we talk to you one year from now or six months from now, uh, if you had to reimagine the world, what would that be? What would be the positives six months, 12 months from now? I want to leave it on a positive note. Uh, I think uh, we will be indeed watching movies. Uh, perhaps the theatres will be, cinema theatres will be uh, redesigned. Uh, I think we will have a lot more confidence to travel by air. And uh, I think uh, the News Bar Broadcast Awards will definitely take place in your standard venue. And it will be thank well you. attended. Thank you, Mr. Tiagarajan. And thank you to all our viewers for tuning in. We could take most of your questions, but not all of uh, you can mail those questions to Priyanka Badoria at exchangeformedia.com and she can uh, get them answered from Mr. Tyagarajan. Uh, thank you, Mr. Tyagarajan, for being real, for being humane, and for being optimistic. We wish Blue Star, your industry, and our nation good luck. And we look forward to engaging with you in a conversation soon and seeing you at Exchange for Media events soon. Thank you. God bless you, sir. It was a pleasure talking to you, Dr. Bhatra.